I did a project where I took um, these geological reports that contain a lot of information about uh, where high-grade mineral deposits are for things like uh, copper, rare earth elements for EV batteries. These uh, documents contain a lot of information, but it's all in text and images. And so uh, I used the Llama 4 API. It's the first time I actually ever used a LLM API to extract all of this uh, text and uh, the images. So I used the really long context of Maverick and the uh, text and image sort of like multimodal um, uh, capabilities. And so um, the uh, API, it uh, extracts this text and then converts it to a domain-specific language that I wrote for this weekend. Um, and so it's like a condensed version of all of the information that's stored in the document. And then it, um, you, once you have this domain-specific language uh, consolidation of all of the information, that's like encoded and then you can decode it into different tasks. So one task that I chose is to pass it to a Python program called GenPy, which um, it's like reconstructs the geology in three dimensions. Um, so this is sort of like uh, the LM is generating inputs for GenPy at the moment, and uh, it takes a really long time to actually uh, solve for these geology models, but um, eventually it'll produce out uh, like a 3D model of what it thinks the geology is based on the domain-specific language encoding. Uh, just give it a little minute, but I've got some examples of uh, what it does look like um, when, it's, uh, when it's working. So, you know, you take all the data here, you use uh, Llama 4 to make a text summary, you use another call to make the domain-specific language representation of it, and then you can output whatever task you like and then like generate uh, 3D models. Let's see if it's working. The luck of hackathons, of course. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, you, know, you could use this for many different tasks. You could use this for you know, risk analysis. You could take this domain uh, domain specific language representation and you can use it for planning mine operations you could use it for inputs of geophysical simulations so uh, um, yeah maybe I'll take questions while I wait and still if it works that was cool you know demos always don't work it's okay uh, how do you know what you've produced is right so you always need to have like a domain expert in the loop. And the nice part about this is that the domain expert can be in the loop at multiple stages. So like, you know, when it generates the text summary, this is gonna be a lot smaller than the like 400 page document. Um, and so you, a domain expert can read this. And then also the domain expert can read the uh, domain specific language to make sure that it's correct and it's actually like what you, uh, what you believe uh, for the geology. Got it. Have you considered using an LLM to check for each stage of this? Uh, yeah, that could probably be a good idea, sort of like a, sort of, uh, like a student and a mentor sort of uh, pattern. Yeah, that's uh, entirely possible. Uh, do you have any uh, loaded 3D diagrams that we could also look at other than that one? Some like animations here. You can't. Uh, you can't really. Uh, uh, you can read it in the last yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, last night, I think. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, so like the reason that it fails the most is that GemPy is uh, like implicit geology, a, ge a geomodeling language, and it can ge generate geologies that are physically impossible. Um, so these are one of the things that I think. Uh, future refinements could hop hopefully fix. Oh, and what do you think is the commercial potential for this? How would this be used and how do you see it out I there? Mean, I mean, I'm gonna be using this in my work tomorrow because um, like this is, this is me. Uh, 
Like, this is me uh, reading geology documents uh, in my day-to-day -day work. And, um, you know, so I have to do this. And I think, like, having an LLM in the background uh, who could do this, this work for me would be, uh, would be really excellent. And do you have any sense of how accurate this is? Because the amount of compression you, you, you were showcasing in your pipeline was significant, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of compression. And the accuracy is, uh, so it failed. Okay, <laughs> I'll try and run it again. And, and the reason um, why I'm asking is that I would imagine a lot of the details are really important in the, in the third, uh, in the 3D visualization here. Yeah, I would say like to the zeroth order, it's accurate. It like gets the ground rocks correct, and then like what's on top, and then like the overall dip and structure of the geology. But um, yeah, the fine sale details aren't there yet. But Hopefully that could be added in future revisions.